welcome to our LinkedIn Live today. So lovely to see you. Hi, Kiwa. So beautiful to see you. Uh, it's been a while since we are connected. I know it's been it's been a few weeks. I would say I think a few, maybe longer than a few weeks now. <laughs> yes. Yes. So thank you so much for joining in today. For all the viewers who are here with us, we have with us Master Coach Nopantu, uh, who is also my uh, coach. I did my coaching foundation under her guidance, and I'm super excited to have this conversation with her today on exploring Ubuntu coaching. She's an expert in this concept, and we're going to dig dive uh, into what this concept uh, uh, is all about and how components of Ubuntu are applicable uh, across coaching. So before we get started, Ubuntu, love your t-shirt. I think it says Ubuntu. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, always a reminder about this lovely ancient wisdom and make sure that I remind myself to practice this Ubuntu, yeah. Wow, beautiful. So, Bantu, uh, no, Bantu, sorry, why don't we start by just uh, hearing from you on what Ubuntu means? Hmm. Uh, Kiwa, Ubuntu is an uh, ancient African wisdom philosophy that looks at the interconnectedness of us as human beings. And also it looks at our connection to mother nature, to all sentient beings. It somehow tries to sort of uh, look at how duality does not help us and sort of promotes non-duality. Because as a result of Ubuntu, I see myself in every living being. And then what this means then is that if, for instance, I'm seeing myself in you, Kiwa, I cannot harm you because if I start to harm you, then that means that I am harming myself as well. Mm. Mm. Beautiful. I think I remember seeing uh, this one sentence, you know, whenever you type something about Ubuntu, it says, I am because you are. So I think uh, whatever one experiences, you know, it's it's uh, not possible for us to not have a part of that reflected in how we operate or how we think. Mm. So that's a beautiful concept, uh, uh, Nobantu. I am because we are. I am because we are. Like say, umtu ngumtu kabantu. A human mm. being is a human being because of other human beings, which intricately means that I can never be an island and I can never be fully me if mm. another human being is not fully who they are destined to be. Mm. Mm. So it's, 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 it's in actual sense the the kind of practice that says an injury to one is an injury to all. Mm. And mm. it takes village to raise a child and not just the biological parents of that child. Mm. 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 Wow, beautiful. And Ubuntu, how do you see uh, the concept of Ubuntu applied to a coaching practice? Thank you for that. Yes. Developed Ubuntu coaching, and uh, this is the first development of Ubuntu in coaching. Ubuntu mm -hmm. has been used extensively in leadership and in coaching. It's amazing, Kiwa, because this seems like it has, it was a gift from my ancestors, wow. especially during COVID, because that's when Ubuntu coaching came alive. I remember one time I used to be asked to, um, during COVID, to give talks to international forums on Ubuntu and also to corporates here in South Africa. 
And then through this, I could see how people were somehow getting healing from this. Mm -hmm. And I started having this dream of developing Ubuntu coaching. And during this day, it was so alive in me. I went to sleep. I came out with the model of Ubuntu. It felt like it was the gift from those who came before me. And how I applied to coaching, it works so well with uh, the ICF core competencies. Starting with uh, the second, the just at the beginning, embodying a coaching mindset. Because with Ubuntu, the preparation that is required for coaches is to bring about a state that is invitational, that would make whoever you're working with feel like, wow, I am home here. I am welcome. And I always think about this um, African uh, way of life that is so linked to the Indian way of being. Because I know in India, when a guest arrives in a household, they are treated like, like, like Christ, like God. Yes. So even as when we receive uh, mm -hmm. visitors, you really mm -hmm. see the greatness in this person and you want to make them feel like I belong here. Sure. So it's about having this belonging, having inclusion. Mm -hmm. And with this, I developed the model with the acronym RASIA, R-A-S-E-A. Mm -hmm. And the RASIA is, the R is receiving. Mm -hmm. How important it is to receive the mm -hmm. client. Mm -hmm. And if you're thinking about this receiving, if you think about uh, the ICF core competency four, cultivates trust and safety. This is about mm -hmm. this. And in coaching, when I um, take people through coaching, we need to spend more time on the R. Mm -hmm. Because remember, we are having a client who is challenged mm -hmm. by whatever they are challenged with who has mm. got to open themselves up to a coach. So we mm. need to spend more time to make sure that they really feel at home, they really mm. feel accepted and received. And if mm. you're thinking about this, really it's, it's about, come, let's breathe together. It's mm. about, I as a coach, I'm just like you. Mm. I'm human. I'm vulnerable. Mm. I'm mm. open to learning. I don't know it all. Bringing mm. in the beginner's mind. So once now you get through this and ensuring that Saubona, I see you. I'm mm. here for you. You are the main important person mm. in the right now. Then we move to the A of Rasia which is you now accept the client for who mm -hmm. they are mm -hmm. and also you acknowledge the client for mm -hmm. their courage mm -hmm. coming to you to be able to co-create the solutions mm -hmm. they are looking for with the coach mm -hmm. and knowing that yes i do have all the resources required mm -hmm. to solve this problem. Mm. And then if we're looking further, ra, a, s, then mm. the listening. Mm. And you know, what I do, for instance, before coaching, I would ensure that my body is open to listening. Mm. I would be doing walking meditation. I would be beating my African drum feel that was good. and then as i sit with the person then i can hear them not just with the ears right 
with the heart and with the body. And as I do that, mm -hmm. not just summarizing, because summarizing can be like a parrot fashion. That is so, I really hear you. Mm -hmm. And try and feel that this is really a partner I am joining. Mm -hmm. And through this, because as a people of African descent, we love being in the body, mm -hmm. the connection with the body, rather than listening to what is being said. Mm -hmm. We pay also attention to what is in between the words. Mm -hmm. What are the, are the, are the nonverbal cues that when a client says something, something happens in the body and then just evoking awareness as far as that is concerned, which is the E of Gracia. And then we stay in the curious mode of A. We ask questions to get mm -hmm. the client to commit to action. So we receive the client. We accept, we acknowledge the client. We summarize what the client is saying, evoke awareness, and then stay in a curious asking mode. That's the Rasia model. Fantastic. I Almost as you were sharing, of course, I got reminded of coaching foundation and uh, training under you, uh, Nobantu, and how you actually, in my personal experience, exhibited those, you know, while facilitating that space for us. So it was so wonderful to hear all this because I could connect the dots to how you were as a coach and a facilitator. And uh, hopefully, like, those are some of the skills and mindsets that uh, I'm being able to also follow now as a learner coach uh, with, with this with this support that uh, you've, you've provided. And I was also thinking about one more thing as you were sharing, Nobantu, that this in a way gives complete respect to the wholeness of uh, the being. And it's so beautiful to just be in that energy and space uh, and create that for another person. Oh yes, oh yes, it's it, it's it's really about that, and 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 to show that I um, have developed a mantra in this Ubuntu coaching, which is a mantra that says again, as coaches, we need to see more, we need to hear more. Right. love more mm -hmm. bringing love to the coaches and loving the clients like yeah. they are your kind of uh, important people in your life yeah. and also illuminate more mm -hmm. because as we are evoking awareness we are illuminating mm -hmm. the spark that the client has shown such that there could be like some kind of fire that comes from that. And then we be more maintaining presence at all time, applying mindfulness in yourself as a coach, being mindful of what's happening in the client, being mindful of what is happening in the interpersonal space. And also mm -hmm. this brings a systemic thinking element to it, where we're mm -hmm. also mindful of who else is going to mm -hmm. benefit from the work that the client is doing, the stakeholders, other people. And lastly, uh, the mantra is do less as coaches. This is the work of the client, and they are the ones who have got to be doing all of the work. So it's see more, hear more, love more, illuminate more, be more, and do less. Love it. I remember the first time you had shared this, we were all like, oh, wow. <laughs> like we are supposed to do less. And, you know, it, as when you start <laughs> off, you think like there are 10,000 things that you need to do. And uh, the moment you actually embrace this, you see a complete shift in what you bring into the space for the client and the client then leads and it's it's really beautiful to see that exactly <laughs> and 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 also if you're thinking about it kiwa this gives the client the confidence oh my goodness i can do this and also now it's like they own up 
the process and whatever they implement afterwards. Wow, I just thought about that. I had this light bulb moment that came as a result of someone believing in me that I can do it. Wow, I can feel the energy till here, Nobandu. The positivity, the strength that you that you carry, I can feel it till here in our conversation today. Yes, I'm telling you what this this really for me is a, a true gift. This Ubuntu coaching, and as I coach using Ubuntu coaching, it feels like I'm coaching myself and also healing my ancestors. Through this coaching as well. Mm. I really like the word you used, uh, Nubantu, healing. Because I do think that my coach training experience also for me and coaching as a practice is something that I connect with the word healing a lot. Uh, mm. So very beautifully shared. So one of the things that's been on my mind is your upcoming coaching foundation course. Uh, I think it's going to start in, in just a few days. Can you share with us a little about what are the different aspects that are going to get covered in this course and who are the people who uh, would love to be a part of this course? Okay. If you love human beings <laughs> <laughs> and genuinely with them you have to be part of this and also Kiwa I think for me what really enthuses me is the fact that the coach Raya as well uses Ubuntu as a part of the foundational values of coach Raya so this Ubuntu coaching program level one is no different and as people are aware this uh, coaching is, uh, a credit, is a coaching at uh, ICF at level one. So what we will do nicely is to have this alignment mm -hmm. of Ubuntu with ICF core competencies. And also with this program, it's really practical more than just being trained as a coach, you also find that you hone in presence within yourself because the program is uh, actually living what the core competencies are. If for instance, we're looking at uh, embodying a coaching mindset, we don't go with that through the head we do a lot of practices to help us with that. And also with listening with the uh, coach, um, the, 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 the textbook that is so resourceful. It then helps the, 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 the coaches in training not to just understand the ICF core competencies. But with that uh, textbook, you find a lot of other, of, other, of other ways of being as a coach. For instance, uh, emphasizing emotional intelligence, emphasizing systems thinking, looking at the hero's journey. As I, I am journeying in this coaching uh, uh, journey, what, where do I start? And how was I when I started? And through this journey into myself as a hero, where do I eventually get to? And what I like about the program as well, it's not a talk shop. We have very practical assignments that students could apply as they go through and a lot of people who have gone through the program are saying that this is not just a coaching program, but this has helped me in other relationships. At work with colleagues, it's helped me with relationships at home, with friends. So it feels like this is a gift to the ones who come for training that applies holistically in the in, in 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 all the facets of the life 
of the coaches? I would definitely like to echo that. And I think that's uh, been an experience that I've also had. And I was actually reminded of our cohort members and uh, everybody, you know, how like we were, we were like this uh, team, a family that was on this journey together. Uh, you mentioned how we practiced so much. And I remember from the first practice when we did let's in front of each other to towards the end of the training, how much each person had grown and how, uh, everyone genuinely wanted the other to do well, to learn the concepts well. And uh, I think even today, like I connect with many of them for coach training practice and they'll be and they'll be like honest feedback coming your way. And I, I value that so much and uh, in, in such a gentle and caring way. Uh, so I think the cohort and the community, I think, adds that value, which, which uh, I think a lot of our learners cherish, including me. So... Yes, yes, our cohort was amazing. And for some reason, it felt like we were all going through some difficult times. And how amazing that each of the, and every member of the cohort show, showed up fully and no people's, no person's challenge was just their own. Everyone was part of that, which wow. was so amazing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And kudos to you, Nubantu, for creating that space for all of us. And I think that's that's the part that Ubuntu holds, uh, I think, in, in bringing people together and the collective together. Yes. Yes. Right. So once again, uh, for the listeners who are here, if you do have any questions, we are here. If you want to know about Ubuntu or... Uh, anything about the upcoming program, do write to us. Uh, you can also email us at contact at kocharya.com uh, if you wish to. So, so uh, Nubantu, from your experience as a trainer, what was something that you enjoyed the most during coach training? <laughs> you, you, you know, for me, I was, I was actually so excited Starting this program where we had to be with each other for six months um, every week, seeing people as they started to coach in a fishbowl where others were there, and where people would feel like I would not make this at all. And then looking at how people developed and uh, the kind of mastery they had. <laughs> Because I was looking at uh, your group, uh, Kiwa, and was actually saying, these guys don't look like they are at level one. It's like level <laughs> two, and they are training for PCC. So it's amazing the, the, the commitment because of having built this net, this kind of family, and knowing that I am not alone here. Yes. Hmm. Absolutely. And I think that's exactly what, what I also experienced as a learner, being in that space, knowing that, okay, we have the support, you know, and we got this. <laughs> mm, mm. Yes. Yes. So thank you so much, Nobantu, for taking the time out today. As, as we are closing out, uh, uh, I once again encourage uh, people to watch uh, Nobantu's videos. And Nupur has shared the links uh, here for you all. Write to us. Tell us what you are learning from these videos. And if you want to connect with us to know more about Ubuntu coaching and uh, about Nobantu's upcoming course, do write to us. And I'll be really happy to talk about my experiences as well with you or maybe uh, connect with other people who've been a part of this program. So as we are closing out, Nobantu, would you like to just share anything as your closing thoughts for, for the participants today? It's just to encourage people to sign up for the program because in this program, Kiwa, as you know, we sail seven seas. Not just one sea, we go through the... <laughs> which, is compassion, which is caring, curiosity, courage, co-creation, connectedness, yes. and we commit to action. Yes. Thanks. Thank you so much, Nubantu. Thank you so much. And thank you, everyone, for joining in. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Nubantu. Have a lovely rest of the day. Thank you very much. Thank you.